Last time in part one, we showed some clips from about a hundred year old video made with the U.S. Bureau of Mines and uh, what was then the H.W. Johns Manufacturing Company and today is known as Johns Manville. This is some film footage from various mines and factories that they own and we're going to go ahead and show this to you so you can understand all the work that went through creating asbestos products. We also learned in part one that the Jeffrey Mine in Quebec that was owned by Johns Manville put out 700,000 tons of asbestos every year. But to do that, they had to go through 100,000 tons of rock every day. Here's how that process began. It began with explosives, dynamite. This is the Jeffrey Mine. You can see the water in there that's still there. And that's the old fashioned uh, steam equipment. And we're getting ready to put the shot holes so they can put the dynamite in and actually blow up the rock to start taking the rocks away and pull the asbestos uh, minerals out. So let's watch this. I can only imagine how much asbestos dust every one of those charges put in the air. And as you'll hear more about in part three, asbestos is really only harmful when you're breathing it. It's not something that if you touch it causes problems, it's airborne. That's where the issues come from. So that was the explosives that they use to loosen up the rock. Well, what do they do next after the dynamite goes off? Well, they have to gather the asbestos. Let's see that. And this is literally what they had, guys going through and pulling fibers out of these rocks. And then those rocks would be uh, the fibers they pulled out of the rocks would be separated and graded. Uh, asbestos fibers are graded based upon their length. The longer the fibers are, the more useful that they are. And the shorter they were, the more likely they'd have to be used as something like filler in plastic or something along those lines. It couldn't be woven. So they've gathered some asbestos out of the rocks. And the next step is to go ahead and load up all of the ore. Um, in part one, we showed that JM had a 200 ton uh, truck that they would load it in. But back in this was being filmed, it's these old school steam shovels and equipment that you watch it and you can barely believe this stuff worked. But that's the sort of equipment that they were using a hundred years ago, literally a hundred years ago to get asbestos. So once they've gotten that done, this is how they dump it uh, into the, the slip before it gets crushed. So we have to get everything put together, uh, you know, take off to the factories. Just dumping load after load of raw asbestos. And then after the asbestos has made it to that point, it has to get crushed so they can get the fibers. And here's what that looks like. Literally just dumping rocks into a crusher. See, the flat screen is how they're used to separate the fibers. These things uh, shake and then the fibers uh, fall through a series of screens. And then we go to the factory and we have the cobbing room. And this is where you really get to see the asbestos stuff in action. See all these people in this room just beating on these asbestos fibers and you see the bag there right in front of it. Here we go. Look at this, just smashing these things up. No respiratory protection whatsoever all day banging down on these rocks, getting the fibers out. 